Not quality assurance sampling or the LQAS methodology provides real-time planning and management information. It uses small sample sizes to classify health or administrative geographical areas to inform if these areas have achieved or not a predetermined target for a given indicator. LQAS is functionally identical to stratified sampling but requires smaller samples because it does not attempt to construct a precise estimate of population parameters. Instead, after sampling, a researcher using LQAS performs a hypothesis test to determine whether the number of elements of interest in each lot is likely to be greater than a predetermined threshold. LQAS or Lot Quality Assurance Sampling is a feasible method for staff to evaluate and optimize primary health programs in a conflict-affected area. Managers are able to collect, analyze, and disseminate data to staff alongside the routine work of the organization. LQAS is used when the project is subdivided into management areas or supervision areas with persons assigned to manage or supervise the performance of the project in these sub-project areas. If your project is only interested in obtaining the frequency and confidence interval for the various indicators of interest at the level of the project area as a whole, then 30 cluster methodology may be preferable. There are multiple examples of LQAS being used for quality management, such as assessing the quality of care in malaria control in Nigeria, and the quality of health facility services in South Sudan. LQAS have uh, advantages and disadvantages also. First advantage is that it changes the mindset towards reliance on data for evidence-based uh, planning. So the districts or the, the people can have relied on LQAS data for uh, the, the identification of priority target areas for implementing uh, uh, focus works and the, the, the people or the district can also use LQAS to do own evaluations in their areas in uh, specifically into different technologies, say for example agricultural area, health sectors, and the like. And the districts can also strengthen partnership between NGOs and the other district in provision of related services. However, above mentioned advantages counterfeit with the disadvantages. And one is that it is not good, the LQAS is not good for calculating exact coverage in a supervision area, but um, uh, it can be used to calculate uh, coverage for an entire program. Now, um, the LQAS is not also good for setting priorities among uh, uh, supervision areas uh, with little difference in coverage. However, it is uh, on the hands or it is in, in the hands of uh, and the ideas of the people or those authority on how they are going to use the LQAS. The Routine Data Quality Assessment Tool is a simplified version of the Data Quality Audit for Auditing which allows different programs to assess the data quality and strengthen the data management and reporting systems. It focuses on verifying the quality of the reported data and assess the underlying data management and reporting systems for standard program level output indicators. So there are six steps in conducting an RDQA and the first step is to determine the purpose of the RDQA. Second is to select the levels of data management and reporting systems and also the sites to be included. The third is to identify indicators, data sources, and the reporting period. Fourth is to conduct the site visit. Then fifth is to review outputs and findings on each site visited. And lastly, it is to develop a system strengthening plan including follow-up actions to improve data quality. The RDQA is designed for use by NTPs, projects, and all technical partners both to measure periodic data quality of MNE and to facilitate routine supervision by NTPs, for example, and to facilitate review by NTPs and all partners, for example. The RDQA tool can serve several purposes. Number one, routine data quality checks as part of ongoing supervision. Number two, assessments of data management and reporting systems. Number three, 
strengthening the staff capacity in data management and reporting. Number four, preparation for a formal data quality audit. And number five, external assessment of data quality by partners. So the RDQA has advantages and some disadvantages also. So first is that the RDQA can be used as a routine data quality uh, checks as part of uh, ongoing supervision. So uh, for example, routine data quality checks can be included in already planned uh, supervision uh, basis at the service delivery site. So and at the same time, the RDQA can have the initial and follow-up assessments of data management and reporting systems. Say for example, the repeated assessments of like for example annually or uh, biannually something like that of a uh, system's um, ability to collect and uh, report quality data at all levels can be used uh, to identify gaps okay and distances to monitor necessary improvements and at the same time the RTQA can also strengthen program staff's capacity in data uh, management and reporting uh, the preparation for a formal data quality audit is transparent and uh, however uh, the disadvantage of RTQA is that it is not responsive and at the same time it's not useful if it is not used routinely so um it's on the hands of the staffs to use this properly and uh, for some cases there are um uh, misleading issues or uh data um on data data infrequencies on this uh, tool the rdqa